All of the state's 19 abortion facilities will remain open for now. The Supreme Court's decision to temporarily halt implementation of a Texas abortion law tops your Texas political roundup. Siding with abortion providers, the high court delayed restrictions that would require facilities to meet hospital-like standards. Only nine facilities meet those standards. The Supreme Court will decide whether it will hear the merits of the case in October when the justices reconvene. Same-sex newlyweds in Texas are enjoying the benefits of legal matrimony. Wednesday, public employers, including Texas agencies, universities, and schools, began allowing current and retired gay and lesbian employees to enroll their same-sex spouses in the same benefit programs and services available to opposite-sex couples. And on the first day of legal same-sex marriage in Texas, more than 465 couples received licenses in 10 of the state's largest counties. Some county clerk's offices, though, refused to issue licenses to same-sex couples on religious grounds. A move the state's attorney general said could result in fines or lawsuits. In an interview with the Texas Tribune, Ted Cruz supported a clerk's right to refuse issuance of the license if doing so ran counter to their beliefs. We should respect diversity and tolerance. There is this, this liberal intolerance and fascism that seeks to force Bible-believing Christians to violate their faith. And I think it makes no sense. I think it's inconsistent with who we are as a people. I think it's inconsistent with the First Amendment. I'm Alana Rocha. For a complete look at the impact of the Supreme Court's decisions on Texas, visit us online at texastribune.org.